Hey, what is up guys? Blaze here, and welcome back to another tier list video. Uh, so today, as the title says, we are going to be doing my favorite characters. And what the hell is that ad? Why is that over there? So I specifically picked uh, specific characters because all of these characters you're seeing right now are not all of my favorites, but these are specifically picked out because these are all of my all-time favorite characters. So if I had to pick my favorite character, I would most likely bring one of these guys up before any other character. If th That doesn't really make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say, hopefully. So yeah, these are uh, just my all-time favorite. Plus, there's probably not going to be any E or F tiers, because if there were any E's or F's, then they wouldn't really be my favorite characters, you know what I'm saying? So there's mostly... It, the F is pretty much going to be the D, pretty much. That sounded really weird. But yeah, you know what, let's just ju jump right into this, honestly, and yeah, uh, there's gonna be a good amount of S tiers in here because I, I nitpicked a lot of good ones that are my favorite ponies in general. So, starting out with Twilight Sparkle. Okay, Twilight's kind of interesting, because if you guys didn't know, I said this in my last video, uh, I was shipped with her back then, but this isn't about ships and all that. Um, but since I was shipped with her and all that, I... I pretty much watched her a lot more. I know th that sounds weird. I don't know. I'm horrible at explaining things, but uh, I, the character kind of grew on me more and more. And plus, she's an alicorn now, a princess. So, yeah, she's a lot more better than I used to like her. Because when she was just a unicorn, she was an okay character. But now that she's an alicorn and all that, uh, and literally ruling Equestria, she's a really good character. I'm going to give her A. She's a pretty good A tier for sure. Rarity, okay. Uh, Rarity is actually my least favorite in the main six. If you guys didn't know that, she's my least favorite. So just because of that, I'm giving her a D. Sounds so weird. I'm sorry. I, I have a mind of a five-year-old. Just leave me alone. Um, Applejack, uh, A tier. G or uh, not A tier, uh, S tier. She is literally my second favorite in the main six by far. I, there's no need for me to say her. I love her character. Oh, uh, she's a country. I just... Applejack's a cool fucking character. Um, Pinkie Pie. Oh, boy. Pinkie Pie. This is gonna go be weird. I think Pinkie Pie's with Twilight. Pinkie Pie's a Twilight. Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah, no. They're a good A tier, for sure. I, I was thinking maybe Twilight's a B tier and Pinkie's an A, but nah. They're both A tier, in my opinion. They're all right. They're honestly, I don't like Pinkie Pie because she gets annoying once in a while. I know that's her character trait and that's how she is, but that that's probably that's probably the only thing I hate about Pinkie Pie. The, a cool thing about her is she can break the fourth wall, and that's what that's why I think she's so high too. She's got her own characteristic, which is breaking the fourth wall, and her own party cannon that she can pull out of literally anything. Also. Apparently she has a party bazooka. I didn't know that, so good job on you, Pinky. Rainbow Dash. Let's give. Let's just jump her to A or S S S S. Uh, so yeah, she's S because you guys already know that she is my favorite pony of all time. She's literally my favorite. Let's put her right there. Yeah, she's Rainbow Dash is my favorite pony out of all of these characters. She's my favorite, and all out of every single character in MLP, she's my all-time favorite. Uh, character. Please, she's overrated, blah, blah, blah. I know she's an overrated character, but she's overrated for a reason. She's a great character. She's badass, so that's why so much people like her. Fluttershy, okay. A lot of people are gonna say she's A or S tier, but I'm giving her B tier. Fluttershy's B tier, for sure. She's okay. She's gotten better over the years. If she, if she was like her season 1 and season 2 self, she would be C, for sure. Or maybe even D, because back the well, granted, back then, Season 1 and 2 were mainly getting used to these characters uh, introduced. So, Season 1 and 2, all of these characters are probably, like, D tier because we didn't know really anything about them. They were just, you know, showing us the characters, getting used to them and shit like that, you know. Character development. So, but now that she's got character development, pretty good. B tier. Pretty good B. So, yeah, I'm gonna give her that. Uh, Cutie Mark Crusaders. Uh, Scootaloo's... S tier. Scootle is the best cutie mark crusader. What can I say? She's literally the best. She's like mini Rainbow Dash. She's she's badass. She wants she's just fault. 
She follows in Rainbow Dash's hoof steps? Footsteps, that sounds about normal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, she's pretty much Rainbow Dash's little sister, even though they're not even related at all. But, you know, Rainbow Dash took Scootaloo under her wing, so they're pretty much following each other. Or, Scootaloo is mostly following Rainbow Dash as a role model. So, yeah, we're gonna... Actually, not anymore, really, because... Because of season 9, she's grown up, so yeah, she's pretty much on her own. You know what I mean. But, Apple Bloom. Okay, she's... Apple Bloom's actually my second favorite, uh, Cutie Mark Crusader. I'm gonna give her an A. She's a pretty good A. She's not as high as Twilight, but lower than Pinkie. Pinkie Pie is kind of a low A. She's in the middle of A and B, pretty much. Um, she barely bypassed B. So, yeah, Apple Bloom, pretty high A in my opinion. So, Sweetie Belle, I love her, but if I had to pick between Scootle and Apple Bloom... Sorry, Sweetie Belle. You're, you're C, you may be B. You, you're a super high C, for sure. You're really high. You're, so, you're like, you're like right there in the middle, right there. But, uh, since that's not an option, I can't put you there. So, C, very high C. You're like all the way up here, C. Uh, Luna, Baba, Baba Booey, uh, S tier, best princess, literally, uh, just best princess, what can I say? Uh, I just love her character, and plus, I love her evil form, you know, Nightmare Moon, I just love Nightmare Moon a lot more than Daybreaker, um, uh, Daybreaker is Celestia's evil side, if you guys didn't know that, which you should know, but whatever, uh, Celestia, mm, D tier, sorry, Celestia, I like you sometimes, but if I would have to pick, yeah, you're pretty much there with Rarity. Even though Rarity's a lot more higher than you, Celestia, you're, you're pretty much in the middle of D and E. Uh, Cadence, Cadence, uh, Princess Cadence, um, B. Yeah, B, she's a B tier. She's, a, she's in the middle of Luna and Celestia for me. She's, I love her. She's the second, uh, best princess in my opinion. Um... But she's not as good as Luna. She's way better than Celestia, but not as good as Luna. So she's like middle princess, pretty much. She's kind of there with Twilight in princess kind of ways, but I like Twilight a little more. But as princess-wise, Cadence is better, in my opinion. So yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, Amethyst Star. Uh, she's a background character, if you guys didn't know. She really, I don't think she's talked once, really. I love her as a background character though she's like top five she gets b she's top five for sure um i'm gonna give her that b slot she's kind of in the middle she's not as high as fluttershy but not as low as cadence cadence actually i think amethyst star and cadence are kind of equal pretty much um so yeah i love amethyst star i know she's a background character and there's not really anything about her but i like her she's a cool character Berry Punch. Oh, God, the alcoholic. Okay. The alcoholic of MLP, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I like her. She's pretty cool, but I'm going to give her a C. She's there with Sweetie Belle. Um, she's kind of in the middle. If you guys didn't know, C tier and B tier are kind of the middle class of both. Uh, I think C is perfectly in the middle, though, because, well, literally, it's in the middle of all these. But B is kind of middle class, too. But, yeah, Berry Punch... Pretty cool. I like Berry Punch. She's really, really, really cool. Uh, she's one of my favorite. She's top five for sure of my favorite background characters. Um, and of course, she can't be a real alcoholic in the show because, well, it's f mainly for kids. So if they have an alcoholic pony in there, I know if you like, if she was addicted to like uh, apple cider or some shit, then you know, as like. An innuendo for an alcoholic, kids wouldn't understand it, but, you know, us, we probably fucking would. Or us older bronies and all that, so... Yeah, um... C tier, for sure. Lyra, uh, Lyra's A tier, sorry. Uh, I love Lyra, she's a cool character. Hi, Lyra Heartstrings, let me say her full name before people get mad at me. Because people get mad at me when I don't say their full names for God who knows why. But... Yeah, Lyra Heartstrings. I love her character. I really do. Her character design is so simple, but really cool. Um, I love how her and Bon Bon became married at the end of Season 9, pretty much. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so they're technically pretty much a married couple, right? They're, they're That's an actual ship that is canon, is Bon Bon and Lyra. Yeah, 
Lyra deserves to be A for sure. Uh, bon Bon, I think I'm gonna have to give you B because I like you, Bon Bon, but not as much as Lyra. I really don't. Um, because you you really haven't had that much of a say. Honestly, uh, Bon Bon has talked more than Lyra, I think. I, I don't even think, I think Lyra might be a mute pony, right? No, she isn't. I don't think she has talked, she could be technically mute pony because she hasn't talked that much, but Bon Bon has talked a lot more, but I just like Lyra more. She's just cooler looking to me. Button Mash, oh boy. Uh, Button Mash really isn't even that big of a character in MLP. In the fandom, he's a pretty fucking big character. Um, He was in a couple, was he only in two episodes, I think? You know, when Sweetie Belle was singing that song and then he popped up playing the arcade and shit. That was one episode, but I think he was in the background. I think he's in the background of the school episodes because he's one of the students at the school, I think. Just because you haven't had that much screen time though, Button Mash, I'm gonna put you at a C. If this was the best ponies in the fandom, like popularity wise, oh my God, Button Mash would be A or S, honestly, because he's pretty popular. Uh, okay, we have one fan-made character. Uh, I know it's not canon, but it's Button's mom, also known as Cream Heart. That's her name, right? She's a fan-made character. She's not officially Button's mom, but not unofficially, you know? She's just a fan-made character. Um, I had to add her in here because I love her as a character. No, not because of porn. Shut the fuck up. But just as a character, uh, she's amazing, honestly. I think I'm gonna have to put her with, uh, Button Mash just because... One, she's not canon, so she can't really be that high. Um, and two, actually, the, just that reason, she's not canon, so that's why she's so low. But as a character, she's pretty, if she was canon, she would be A, for sure. But just because she isn't, she's C. She's middle class. Daring do, uh, A tier, by, or S tier. Oh my okay. god, I'm getting S and A confused for some reason. She's S tier. Uh, no doubt about it. She's literally, I think, my second favorite pony in all of MLP, right next to Rainbow Dash. No, not because she's a recolor, but mainly because she reminds me of Indiana Jones. Come on, Daring Do reminds you of Indiana Jones. Come on, guys. Seriously. What else does she remind you of? People are going to tell me she reminds you guys of like 500 different things. But Indiana Jones, I'm a huge fan of. And when I first saw Daring Do, I'm like, wait, is that Indiana Jones, but is a the male but yeah jokes aside she's she reminds me of indiana jones and plus she's got the personality of rainbow dash she's not scared of anything she's badass she's egotistical she's just badass <laughs> so yeah daring do s tier for sure lightning dust uh s tier thank you very much uh lightning dust i love her character she's she's more of a she's like the trixie of rainbow dash she's got an attitude on her just like Trixie she thinks she's better than everybody just like Trixie but she is badass like Rainbow Dash and all that yeah sorry Trixie you're not badass you're cool but not badass like Rainbow Dash so, yeah Lightning Dust is like the Trixie of Rainbow Dash but I, there's some about Lightning Dust that I really love I don't know what it is one her character design is badass and two she's just she's cool she's badass there we go <laughs> simple as that uh, Derpy. Uh, she's not S tier for me, but she's complete A tier for sure. She's by far one of the cuter ponies in MLP. Uh, sorry, Muffins is her official name, which I do not approve. I'm gonna keep calling her Derpy, but yeah. Derpy Hooves, by far one of my favorites. She's, I think, the highest A tier for sure. Right next to Lyra and Twilight, and then the other two are, like, right behind them. Derpy, yeah, let's move you all the way up here. Derpy's pretty high. Um, Octavia, oh boy. Uh, Octavia, classical pony. I'm gonna put you B tier just because you're a classical musician and all that. I'm not a big fan. I, I like classical music, it depends with me though. I'm very picky on classical music. If it's not good, then I do not like it. If it's good, then okay, I'll deal, I'll deal with it. But as from a pony perspective and a character perspective, not from her music, Pretty good character. I really love Octavia. I she's had a pretty good amount of screen time with uh, vinyl. Like, spoiler alert: vinyls down here. Um, yeah, Octavia is a pretty high B tier for sure. Um, yeah, she deserves a spot. I just love her character. She's cool. She's I like how her character is classical. She looks classical. Her hair is classical. Her mane 
is very smoothed out. It just looks like a classical uh, musician, like, you know what I'm trying to say. Her little bow tie and all that, just, it fits her. Her character design fits what she does. Vinyl, okay, you're S tier vinyl. Uh, specifically because I love dubstep and EDM. You know that wah wah wah, that kind of crap, the loud shit. Um, yeah, I love that kind of music and I'm working on it on the side. I do my own music on the side, uh, just as a joke. I might do that as a job in the future. Let's see how that works out. But yeah, as a vinyl, love her character. She reminds me of like Skrillex or like a uh, marshmallow or some shit. Mostly Marshmallow because, you know, the character Marshmallow, the EDM musician Marshmallow, uh, kind of reminds me of Vinyl because they don't talk. Well, of course they talk because they have to make their music, but the character itself never talks, and that's how Vinyl is pretty much. Um, I bet Vinyl makes music she would talk in her music, of course, to sing, but then out there in her character form, uh, no, she would never talk. So, yeah, Vinyl, I just love. She reminds me of, like, Skrillex or something. She's just badass. Um, so, yeah, uh, Trixie. Okay, the tranny. Oh, that's mean. I'm extremely sorry. Trixie, uh, you're, you're lucky, uh, B. You're a pretty, pretty high B for sure. You're probably right next to Octavia and Bonbon. Bon. I think Octavia, Bonbon, bon, and Trixie are, like, equal for me. Um, they're pretty cool. I like Trixie. Uh, I liked her more as a villain. She... Uh, she was more of, she had more of a personality as a villain than a uh, reformed villain. Because right now, Trixie just feels like an egotistical starlight. Or she thinks she's better than everyone, but she's all nice. And we have too many nice ponies in MLP. Um, but, yeah, I liked her more as a villain. But other than that, she's still very cool. Also, I noticed this picture doesn't have her horn. If you guys notice, it doesn't have her horn. She's an earth pony, guys. Yeah, high B tier. I love her character design. It's badass. Uh, she looks like toothpaste for some reason. It's just her mane and tail. <laughs> they look like toothpaste. Spit all over my keyboard. Let's go. Very mature. Starlight. Uh, Starlight I like way more than Trixie. Even though they're both like best friends. I know a lot of people ship these two because they hang out so much. But Starlight I really like. I loved her more as a villain though. I love Trixie and Starlight way more when they were a villain. But I understand why Starlight kind of switched. It makes sense, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I love Starlight's old main style a little more than her... Actually, no, I, I take that back. I like her new main style way more than her old one. When she was enslaving the villages and stuff. Probably just got demonetized for saying enslaved, but whatever. Um, yeah, she... Her, her, her main style was kind of weird when she was enslaving things and stuff, so... But I like her new main style more. She's just a cool character. I like her voice actress. She's a really cool person, so yeah. Great character. She reminds me of, like, Twilight so much. I don't know why. Okay, Sunset. Oh, God. Sunset, I'm gonna have to put you at C tier. Ew, get over there. I'm gonna have to put you C tier just because you're not really in Friendship is Magic that much. If she was in Friendship is Magic way more, she would probably be my next S tier for sure. I just love Sunset or what, what is she called? Bacon Mare or something? The Bacon Pony? Bacon Mane? Bacon Hair? Something like that? <laughs> I forgot what uh, people call her, but Sunset Shimmer, I love her design the most. I love her main style and her tail style. It's just so cool. It looks like a more fleshed out Starlight Glimmered like hairstyle and all that. It just looks cool. Uh, I don't watch Equestria Girl, so I don't know much about Sunset, except for when she popped up in Friendship is Magic a couple times, like barely any. So yeah, that's why she's so low, is because I really haven't seen much of her, unless I go watch Equestria Girls, which I'm never going to do, but yeah. Sorry Sunset, you would be way higher if you had more screen time in Friendship is Magic. Spitfire, that's the next S tier. I know there's a lot of S tiers, but these, you're gonna s get used to what my favorite ponies are and you're gonna understand why, but Spitfire, badass, uh, mainly she reminds me of the Drill Sergeant from Full Metal Jacket. If you guys haven't seen that, please go watch it. It's hilarious. Um, she reminds me of a Drill Sergeant, which I think she is. She's the Drill Sergeant of the Wonderbolts. That's her whole character and all that. Um, she instructs the Wonderbolts. She's the leader, Drill Sergeant, you know? 
So she just reminds me of the drill star. What, what's his name from Full Metal Jack? I forgot. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason why I like it. Like her is because I love Full Metal Jack, and that's it. Just brings back memories of that movie. Uh, as a character, though, I really freaking love her. I love her main style. Uh, her main reminds me of like fire, like her name entails. It looks like fire. Spitfire, duh. So, yeah, Spitfire. Really good character. Love it. The hell, dude. Uh, Cheerily. Okay, Cheerily is actually my next A. I love Cheerily as a character. She's really cool. Um, from a, let me just tell you something real quick. Uh, from me, don't, don't take this. Uh, wait, what's the word? Anywho, uh, I hate school. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. I freaking hated school when I was still in school. I hated it. Oh my god, I didn't enjoy one bit of it. Um, but for some reason, and I hated teachers and all that, I just hated school in general when I was still doing it. But when I was watching MLP, for some reason, usually when I watch shows, when I see a teacher, I always think, oh, the worst character in the whole movie is the teachers and all that, because I just hate teachers. <laughs> I'm a bad influence, but um, cheer when I first saw Cheerily in MLP, I, j I don't know why. Usually I hate teacher characters and just teaching characters that I don't like them, but Cheerily really grew on me for some reason. I just like her. She's really cool. She's a great character. Um, she's not a dick. That's probably why, because every teacher I've had in in grade school was a pain in the ass, so. Cheerily is like a, like a, what's the word? A clean slate for a teacher, pretty much. She's just a nice teacher. She's cool. She's cool with the fillies and all that, and I wish I had that when I was still in school, but yeah, Cheerily as a character, really love her. She's a great character, so that's why she's so high. Rose Luck, oh boy. Uh, Rose Luck is probably, nah, she's A tier for sure. She's probably, like, one of the highest she's top five for sure of my favorite background ponies uh because when you look at her you just think of a rose or is that just me when i see her i just think oh that's rose lug no other pony can be like her it's just i don't know her character fits her name for sure just like rainbow dash when you think when you see her you always think oh it's rainbow something just because of her mane but with rose luck you just think oh it's something rose or rose something it's just it fits her just like rainbow dash his name fits her so as a background character love her rose luck is just amazing so yeah that's why she deserves a in my opinion um so minuet or colgate uh she's very high b she's pretty much a i could put her a but i think she's b yeah, she's B for sure. Very high B, though, honestly. I don't know how high, but she's very high. Um, I love Minuet because... The reason why I think we all called her Colgate is because in the fandom, she's known as, like, the dentist pony. And plus, look at her tail and mane. They look like Colgate toothpaste. You can't tell me it doesn't. It looks like toothpaste. Just like Trixie's mane and tail looks like toothpaste. Uh... So yeah, Minuet is her official name, uh, but I like calling her Colgate. So yeah, Colgate deserves B, very high B for sure. So yeah, you deserve it. Uh, Big Mac, oh god, Big Mac. Yes, I like Big Mac as a character. He's very unique, I will give him that, because he's not like every character which talks normally and all that, but have their own quirks here and there. Him, he just usually does yup, yup, and there's a story behind that if you haven't watched the show. There, there's a reason why he's like, that's not because the story writers got bored or didn't want to even try with him but there's a story behind why he talks like that but when he does talk he sounds badass he sounds like a chad really who's a deep ass voice um but yeah big mac uh just because he's got such a unique personality uh he's super high c but he's not b just because he has such a high and cool person nah he's b he's b yeah, we'll give him that. He's B. So, just because he's got that unique personality and all that, I, he's badass. He's pretty cool. Big Mac's pretty cool. Mod Pie, again, with a unique personality. Um, I really like her because, one, she kind of has the mane and tail of Pinkamina, also known as Pinkami Pinkie Pie's, like, the scary side of her, you know, where her mane goes flat and all that. That's what Mod kind of reminds me of. And then she's got that boring-ass... Uh, attitude. Um, mod, I'm good. Uh, 
Out of all the Pi Sisters, I have to put you a C. I'm sorry. I love every single Pi Sister, Pinkie Pie, Marble Pie, Limestone Pie, all of them. And then Maude is just there, you know? She's just there for me. <laughs> she's one of my favorites, that's why she's on here, but... Out of all the Pi Sisters, yeah, she's pretty low. I, I like her personality, though. I like how she acts. And then with Mudbriar, her boyfriend, um, I love those two characters. They're amazing. Uh, it, plus, she has a pet rock. Uh, uh, that reminds me of Patrick. Remember when Patrick and SpongeBob had that uh, pet rock that he put in the race and all that? Uh, number 10, I think it was. You know, Rocky, I think, was it Patrick named him. That's what uh, Mod reminds me of. And Boulder. It just reminds me of Rocky from SpongeBob with Patrick. Uh, so, yeah, Mod C for sure. Uh, Shining Armor is actually my favorite uh, male character. Besides one, which is coming up, uh, so, uh, right here, d -d 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 so, yeah, Shining Armor, he's my fa favorite male character, pretty much, I'm gonna, just gonna say that, um, I love Shining Armor, he's badass, uh, Twilight's brother, so that just gives you an extra point, I guess, uh, he's pretty much a prince, right, Shining Armor's a prince, right, because there's princess and then prince, yeah, he, he's a prince, plus he is, the reason why he's so high is because if you guys didn't know, I like military stuff and arm, uh, you know, just military kind of stuff. And the Royal Guards uh, kind of remind me of the military and all that. So Shining Armor is the lead of the Royal Guard. So that's just an extra point for him from me because I love military stuff. And he's the leader of MLP's military, pretty much the Royal Guards, which they suck at being a military, but eh. Whatever, you, you do what you do, I guess. So yeah, I love Shining, he's badass. One, he's a prince, he's the boss of a freaking military. He's, he has a sister that turned into a princess. Dude, this guy has it going for him, honestly. He's just a really good character. Uh, ooh, Sunburst. Uh, Sunburst is gonna be B. Yeah, Sunburst is gonna be a B. I feel so bad for Rarity and Celestia down here. Uh, Sunburst. I really love Sunburst. He's he's the nerdy kind of uh, character, not because of the glasses and his uh, I know everything. I'm a smart character, but that's one reason. But he's just unique. He's cool. I just love Sunburst. He he was Starlight's uh, best friend when they were kids, so that's pretty cool. Um, I I just love Sunburst. He's badass. He he's the wise one. He's kind of like a younger version of Star Swirl the Bearded. To me, he's just cool. He kind of looks like a younger Star Swirl. Yeah, Sunburst, you deserve B for sure. Doctor Who's. Oh boy. You already know where this is going. Um, the reason why I love Doctor Who's so much. Let me put him in his spot. You deserve A, Doctor. You really do. Mainly because I am actually a gigantic fan of Doctor Who. The whole Doctor Who series. I'm a huge fan of them. And knowing that... Let's be honest, Doctor Who's is a reference to the Doctors in Doctor Who. There is a specific Doctor in Doctor Who that is my favorite. I forgot which Doctor it was. I don't think it was the fourth Doctor or the third. Was it the fifth Doctor? Ah, oh, God, dude, I need to watch Doctor Who again, but... Doctor Who's reminds me of one of... Specifically, one of the Doctors in Doctor Who. That's actually my favorite, so... That's why Doctor Who's grew on me so much. It's because, god damn, it's a god Doctor Who reference. Like, come on, dude. He's badass. Plus, he's pretty much shipped with Derpy, like the cutest character in all of MLB. So, come on. What's not to like about Doctor Who's? And plus, his accent is fabulous, man. Come on. He's just badass. I think it's the fifth Doctor that he reminds me of. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to have to double check that. So yeah, I love Doctor Who. He, he looks like a doctor from Doctor Who. Look at him. He just looks cool. He looks like from that time era. Uh, so yeah, Doctor Who, that's why you're so high. I love you, man. You're just bad at You're probably my second favorite uh, male character in all of MLP. Uh, Zakora. Uh, I'm going to give you C. Sorry for that weird growl. But I was going to give her a D, but she has personalities that are very unique to her plus Zakora is as I know uh, you can tell me if I'm wrong or not but she is the only zebra 
in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I could be wrong, but I don't think there was one in Generation 1, 2, and 3. I don't watch those. They're garbage, but... How do you know they're garbage? Oh, because I watch a couple episodes, but... Uh, yeah, I threw up on myself watching Generation 1, 2, and 3, but... Anyway, back to Sakura. Uh, she is, as I know, the only zebra in MLP. She rhymes, which is a personality trait unique to her. And plus, she is a gypsy. <laughs> I don't know. She's not a gypsy, but uh, she just makes potions and all that. I think she's the only pony that does that. Or do I even call her a pony? Because she's a zebra. What are... Because ponies are technically baby horses. What are baby zebras? Are they... Are they ponies? I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to call her a pony, but you know what I mean. So yeah. Zebra. Pony, zebra, same thing. Zakora is very unique. That's why she's C. She could probably be way higher, though. Honestly, but... Yeah. I'm gonna give her a high C, just because she has all of those personality traits. And plus, she's the only zebra, f from what I know. So yeah, guys. Uh, that was my list. Uh, my S tier is Rainbow Dash, Applejack, Scootaloo, Luna, Daring Do, Lightning Dust, Vinyl Scratch, and Spitfire. If you were, if you are like my close friend and all that, you already knew this was coming up here. But for the people that aren't my friends or don't know me at all, uh, yeah, these are. I have many more reasons why these are my favorite ponies, but I don't want to make this video way too long. So if you're a close friend, you understand why I picked these. But if you don't understand, then you're probably not my friend or you don't know me enough. So. Yeah, there, this would be filled all the way, the S tier would be filled if I had way more characters, but yeah, I just wanted to limit it because I don't want this video to be like 8 hours long, so yeah. That's my tier list on my favorite characters and how I would rank them, so let me know down in the comments what your favorite pony is and your least favorite of your favorite is, if that makes any sense. Like, uh, Trixie's your favorite or Sunset's your favorite, for, and you know, kind of like that. Uh, you can only tell me one if you want. You don't have to go like what I did. You don't have to do that. Please don't. I don't want my comments to be super big. <laughs> just be simple. Uh, just give me your pony and your reasoning. There you go. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't hate me. I know you guys are going to disagree on some of it, but that's what opinions are for. Oh, boy. Opinions. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And yeah, go check out my other tier list if you guys want to. I only have one more. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out, guys.